Riyadh season. Here's a little fun fact none of you know. I've actually fought at the Riyadh season before, back in 2019, WWE Crown Jewel. I actually knocked out the monster among men, Braun Strowman. And I'll knock out another big dosser here in him, in another one three or four years later. So, you know, it's a very special event for me, and it's a very special um, time in sports where a powerhouse like Saudi Arabia are coming in, the, the, they're taking over the game, they're taking over football, boxing, whatever you want. I think within five years, ten years, they're going to be the powerhouse of all sports. All the big sporting events will be in Saudi Arabia or somewhere. But one thing I do have to say is I've got to take my hat off to, to Francis for his story and where he's come from and the fight, the grind, the determination and everything he's put into it to get to where he is. You know, he was just a, a, a young boy in Africa, you know, with a big dream. And everybody at home probably laughed at him that he was going to go to Las Vegas and win the UFC World Heavyweight Champion. And then when they said he's fighting Tyson Fury, they still laughed at him. But I never laugh at anybody because I know the man's struggle. I come, I come from a place where anything's possible and, and I've changed all my odds as well. My stars have been changed um, because I, couldn't, I may not have been here today um, if things would have went a little bit different. Um, so I never underestimate anybody. And people are like, especially the fucking media, they're like, oh, Francis doesn't have a chance. So I say, if I go to the boozer, the old battle cruiser across the road, yeah, and I get in a brawl with a, with a guy, a drunken guy, he's going to hit me and he might have a chance of knocking me out. So how am I not going to prepare 100% for an absolute killing machine over there? Um, he's trying to take my brains out. I will give Francis the respect that he deserves as one, as a warrior, and two, as a man, and three, as a world champion, what he is. Um, he's a big man, very strong, very powerful. And it's, um, it's in my interest to give it the 100% training in camp and bring in the best sparring possible for me. Uh, I've got my nutritionist here, George Lockhart. We'll do a 12-week camp with George. I've been in camp already for, this is my fifth week in camp. Um, let's not forget, I only trained six weeks for Deontay Wilder. I'm doing 12 weeks for Francis Ngannou. 12 weeks. So I need to be on my A game because there's more on the line now than a boxing fight. You know... If I lose to a number one contender or another champion, it's like, well, he lost to a champion, whatever. But if I lose to an MMA guy, I'm never going to be able to show my face in public again. It's going to be ridiculed. People are going to chuck it at me forever. So there's more riding on this than there ever has been before. And whether the media want to take it as a joke or whatever they want to take it as, make no mistake, Tyson Fury will leave zero stones unturned and I will come in at my fittest and strongest and best I've ever been to defeat this man. And if I'm not and I get knocked out, I want you all to laugh at me. That's what I want. Because 34 contests and two-time undefeated champion. So, you know, I've heard it all before. All of the bullshit that fighters like to say, I'm going to do this, do that. Listen, good luck to him in his training camp. Um, good luck to him and his trainers and Mike Tyson and his other trainer over there. I've met him in Vegas a few times. Um, and that's it. Bring your A game and let's have a fight. Let's have a fucking fight. That's what we're being paid to do. All this talking it is what it is. But at the end of the day, we're going to go in there and we're going to fight. We're going to put on a show. He's a world champion in fighting. Okay? Not a world champion in tennis. He's not a world champion in basketball. He's a fighting world champion. And I'm a fighting world champion, so the best man will win. There is no two ways about it. Whoever's the best on the night will win the fight. That's it. And Tyson. World, world champion in boxing. In boxing. Because in fighting, I think you are very limited in general. Just no, besides not boxing. fighting, because I think I can beat fighting you in a in cage. in general, you're very limited. I would kick your ass in a cage, no, no problem. No, you can't dare. You can't even 100%. think about that. 100%. But just focus on... Uh, I'll personally, I'll beat you in the boxing ring, just and then I'll kick your Riyadh ass in a cage. Season, and then we will see after. 100%. I'll beat you at boxing, I'll beat you in a cage. No problem. No, bro. No problem. Focus, focus, focus no, on boxing. No, no problem. For right now. Best That's at boxing, and I'll beat him in a cage fight. No two ways about it. Well, there you have it. The Chris, Chris, shake on it. Body builder, beautiful. Body, body stone, five pounds, wrecking machine. Victoria, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> Angry face, man. Angry face. <laughs> Angry face. <laughs>